Hey guys, welcome to Drum Dumps. Recently I did a drum cover on my electronic drum kit. And I'll post a link to that below so you can see how it sounds. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually show you guys how to record from your electronic drum kit, mine is a Roland, to your laptop. And you don't need uh, what they call like a brain or anything to transfer from your module to the brain to the laptop. You can just go straight to your laptop with just a few simple little settings. So anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, first off, hardware. What hardware do you need? You're gonna need a splitter. It's just an eighth inch stereo splitter. And in one connection, you're gonna plug in your headphones. And then the other connection is actually gonna go to your mic on your laptop and you're going to plug this into your headphone input on your module. Okay, now we're going to talk about sound settings. I've actually created a video on my laptop to show you guys exactly how you set your sounds. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to go into your control panel, you're going to go into your hardware and sound, and then you're going to go over to your sound settings. And then within your sound settings you're going to find your microphone. And so in there you're going to go into your levels and you're going to set your levels to about 25 percent. You're going to set it really low. And the same thing goes for your your module. I actually have my module up to about half on the volume and that should be fine. Okay now let's talk about recording. I use the program Audacity. I think there's some other programs you can use that are free. Audacity is free. So basically you're going to go into Audacity and this is real easy. Very little settings you're going to have to do in Audacity. The one thing is you're just going to want to make sure that your audio, your mic audio, recording volume audio is low, around 25%, just like you did in the settings. And then your volume, you can turn that up as high as you want. That'll be fine. So when you're recording, when you're playing, you can see in the program Audacity, it'll actually have, you'll be able to see the actual beats happening, like kind of like a seismograph. So every move I make on the drums, I can see on the recording meter on Audacity. And guys, a quick little word on drum covers. If you want to record yourself playing the drums like I've done in, in the past in my videos, uh, you're going to have to use your record feature on your actual module and go ahead and set up your camera record yourself playing the song then after you're done with that you're going to have to save it to your computer as an audio file what you've just recorded you're actually going to play it back through audacity and record in real time and then you're going to take your video that you just recorded of yourself and then you're going to take your audio from your computer and you're going to put them together and it'll come out looking like all the other drum covers that you see on YouTube well guys, that's pretty much it. If I missed anything, let me know. Post down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and drum dumb out.